Till now we have only worked with one very simple category table. But in most cases you of course are working with many more tables. But to not get too complicated let's just increase our table count to 2 and therefore introduce our block post table. Here we basically have the same columns present as in the categories table with one special addition, the category ID. This will of course be our reference between the block posts table and the categories table. Without going too much into the schema, let's just again generate our code and look at what has changed. So we go back into our editor and since we have now introduced a new uh, table called block posts, we execute bin cake bake all block underline posts. Now the cake beach CLI again also uh, detects the table and all the associated data and generates just everything for us. Well, okay, now if we try to access the blog posts um, URL uh, the same way as we did before with the categories, you see we run into a little problem because blog underline posts is not the correct URL CakePHP assigns for this new area. Now you may ask, okay, so how can I know or how can I uh, get the correct URL from CakePHP? Well, um, the simplest solution for this would be to just uh, adjust the header. So here we have the documentation and API links, but we can of course adjust these menu links to be links to our categories and blog posts area. So let's just do that. In our templates folder, we have the layout and we have the default PHP. And inside the default PHP, we again have the basic HTML start with the head element, the body element. And here we have our nav menu with our logo uh, at the, or the, at the, the, the logo text at the top left. And at the top right, we have these two links, which basically are, yeah, hard coded URL links. But to generate correct URL links for our controllers, CakePHP offers a HTML helper inside your templates. And this HTML helper has a link method. The first parameter, as you see, is the title for this link. So let's just generate our categories um, link. And the second is typically, in our case here now, an array where we pass an associative array with a controller key and our controller name here is categories and an action key which is here index. So basically what this does is it generates a link which has a text categories which is visible to the user and the URL behind it will link to the correct URL which CakePHP assigned to the categories controller and specifically to the index method inside the categories controller. So now we can copy paste that and also generate our link to the blog posts controller. So again, here blog posts. If you don't know the exact naming of your controllers, you can of course just look into your source controller folder and here we see blog posts and categories controller. So just the front part of your controller names should be passed in there. Now if we go back to our template, we now see, hey, cool, we now have a categories link and we have a blog posts link. And as you see in the URL, the correct format for this is blog dash posts. I won't go into much further detail why this is, but we can talk about that later when we go into the whole router topic. Anyway, um, let's go back to our blog posts table. Here inside our blog posts table, we currently of course have no entries because we haven't added any entries yet. But inside the new blog posts form for adding a new blog post, we now see a new dropdown. And this new dropdown consists of all the entries which are present in our categories table. Well, okay, cool. So we can say test block entry, which is related to the first test category and submit it. 
And now we see, okay, we have another column in our default generated table here, which is a link to the connected category for this blog post. So this is our category test one with the ID 15. And this is our blog post entry with the ID three. If we go into our database, we see we have a blog post entry with the ID three, which is related to the category with the ID 15. This is all automatically generated by CakePHP. Another small thing which you may also be interested, um, the related category currently just shows its own data and nothing really related. But now since we have established a connection between categories and blog posts, we can now again generate our code for the categories template and the categories code. So here we just say A to override all and let's just CakePHP do its magic and generate all the code. And if we now go back to our template, we now see that we have related blog posts to our current category test one. So again, this is the blog post entry we just added, which has a related category test one. And inside here, we also see the related blog posts. Now, how does this work in the backend, in the code? Well, let's just start with our new blog posts form. So if we remember from the previous videos, we have our blog posts controller. Inside our blog posts controller, we just have the index method, which just generates our table. But we also have the view um, method, which just shows the detailed data. So if we go here in the view, this is just the view data. Uh, but again, then the next method is the add method. And you may recognize pretty much everything which is happening in here. So I won't go over everything here. But the only really different thing from our categories controller, which we've gone through in the previous video, is this new line. So in this new line, we check, okay, this blog post is the instance of our blog post table. So, okay, this is just a object which we use to retrieve the blog post. But this blog post object now has a connection to our categories. Um, categories table and categories um, data related to the blog posts. And with that, we can get a list of all the present categories in the database and then just set it back into our template where we, we go into the template uh, blog posts add. We just add a new form control and say, okay, the category ID is now a drop down which CakePHP automatically detects and will get seeded and will get filled with the categories which we passed here from the add method. Okay, cool. So how does this connection now work? Because, well, it's fine and all together that this works here in the controller, but there has to be some joining happening. And where does this uh, connection really uh, get established? Well, if we look into the blog posts table, so this is again, if we want to go manually in there, it's in the source model table blog posts table. This is our table model class for our blog posts. Here again, we have the, the uh, main data which references this class with our blog posts table. But here you see an additional thing we didn't have before. And this is the belongs to association between our blog posts table and our categories. CakePHP automatically generated this for us. So CakePHP now knows that there is a connection between our blog posts and our categories via the foreign key category ID and the default join type here is in the, um, this is the connection direction between blog posts and categories. So with that, uh, again, we can do basically what is happening here. This is 
the main connection between those two tables. But also, if we now go into the categories um, controller, we now see that CakePHP generated one small additional thing inside our view method. And this is this contain array which gets passed to the get ID method. This basically means fetch the category with the ID one as an example and additionally fetch all the related blog posts to this ID. So if we go back to our example, test one is our category with the ID 15. And so CakePHP here just says fetch the category with the ID 15, but also the related blog posts with the ID 15. So if we go into our um, database PHP Madmin, basically it also fetches this right here. But this just doesn't work just via this uh, belongs to association because the the all these associations are directional so here only the blog posts table knows that it has a categories connection but the categories table doesn't automatically know that it has a blog post connection this has to again be set as well in the categories table via this has many because well now one category can have many blog posts via the foreign key constraint we added in the database. And so, yeah, basically here the same. The categories table has a connection to the blog posts via has, main, has many association and the foreign key is category ID. And with that, this now works as well because CakePHP now knows the, the connection between categories and the blog posts. So yeah, that's basically the most important thing related to has many and belongs to associations where we can connect tables between each other and fetch data in between each other. Uh, we will definitely go into other examples as well where we maybe filter or um, sort or fetch uh, other related data as well, but um, I hope you get a better understanding of what is happening here. You know what to do and I will see you in the next one.